tearing down the walls, and he finds insulation and also comic books. You've all heard tales of what happens when you go and buy a storage locker. At times you get nothing, and at times you find something that is once in a lifetime, one in a million, or just something so awe-inspiring that you can't believe it's real, and yet it is. So the fact that so many people over the years have gone and found things to make them millions of dollars or something along those lines is pretty incredible. So allow us to show you three storage unit finds that made people rich. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 3. The Original Superman Comic In April of 2011, the first Superman comic, Action Comics No. 1, was discovered by a California collectibles expert in a storage unit in San Fernando Valley. Stephen Fisher said the comic was important and valuable because there was no such thing as a superhero prior to this comic. Upon finding it, he gave it back to actor Nicolas Cage, whom it had been stolen from years prior. Cage's publicist released a statement at the time about the actor's joy of getting the book back. It is divine providence that the comic was found and I am hopeful that the heirloom will be returned to my family. So how exactly did all of this happen? Well, you see, a while after Cage bought the comic, his house was robbed. They took a lot of valuables and that included the legendary comic. Eventually, it was pawned off by the robbers and in a rare twist of fate, it made it back to the collector who sold Cage the comic in the first place. That's not the only irony though in this story, because while Nick Cage is a legend that no one can deny, he also had a legendary money spending problem that he can't deny. And not long after receiving the comic back, he had to sell it for a couple of million to pay off the many debts that he owed. But still, the story of the comic and how it had been stolen and yet brought back to the owner via Cage, albeit very briefly, shows that sometimes hope does win in the end. It is one of the rarest of all comic books, Action Comics number 1, where Superman makes his first appearance. Number 2, Michael Jackson Collection Lorendi Ruse, a partner in the New York-based consulting firm Ruse Cohen Group and an executive president of Extra Space Storage from 1986 to 2003, had no idea that an Extra Space unit she was managing in Culver City, California contained a heady Michael Jackson collection. His personal assistant had made all the arrangements, so it went out to default status. We had to cut the lock to see what was in there, Ruse recalled. Inside were roughly 15 items owned by the King of Pop, including several stage costumes, a couple of large prints, and a trunk with contents. We thought it might have belonged to a memorabilia collector until we tracked it back to his PA through the production company named on the account, she said. The PA ended up bringing the unit current, they had simply forgotten about it. They ultimately moved the items out. This is especially cool because of the fact that this all really did come from THE Michael Jackson via his personal assistant. Clearly, even the late King of Pop needed to put certain things in certain places so a storage unit would do. The value of these items were no doubt sold for a pretty penny, probably to those who either idolized Jackson or maybe even to his family who wanted some of his memorabilia back. Plus, we do know now that this wasn't the only storage unit that he had, so who knows what else is out there in terms of celebrity storage units. Now these are his shoes. These are actually shoes that he wore. And he wore those with the socks. Number one, missing James Bond car. In 1989, a Long Island contractor paid $100 for a storage container. The next day, he and his brother searched the unit. They lifted several blankets and discovered a strange car with fins instead of wheels. The brothers had no idea what they had discovered. They loaded the car onto a truck and left. Excited truckers contacted the brothers over a CV radio and asked if the car was from the original James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. The brothers had no idea, they had never even seen a James Bond movie. He had the car authenticated, restored, and repaired. The contractor decided to put the car in an auction. He discovered that the car had cost over $100,000, the equivalent of almost $500,000 today in order to make, and he hoped that he could make a similar amount. The car was sold for almost $1 million when billionaire Elon Musk won the car at an auction. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the times when people went into storage units and came out with something truly worth celebrating? Are you shocked that so much money and precious items were found in such units? Which of these items would you have loved to find yourself? Let us know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time on the channel.